Joining me now is Health Minister Jean-Yves Duclos. Welcome, Minister. Thanks so much for making the time. And first, I wanted to ask you, your government announced $2 billion to tackle the surgery backlog. At the end of last year, provinces like Ontario had a backlog of over a million surgeries. Now, is their share of that money really going to be enough to clear that massive backlog? Good evening, Mike, and uh, hello to everyone listening. You're correct. No, there were uh, backlogs before the pandemic. We were our healthcare system was already quite vulnerable and fragile, but the pandemic hurt the uh, the system, the healthcare workers in particular, very hard. So approximately uh, 700,000 uh, surgeries have either been uh, cancelled or delayed because of COVID-19. So there is a lot of a lot of work. Most importantly, a lot of patients, many of us, many of them listening to us tonight, that are waiting or have been waiting for their uh, surgeries. A lot of healthcare workers who have been very uh, stressed uh, because of those uh, those delays. So the announcement today is one input, important input into helping provinces and territories address those backlogs. But it's just one input. I mean, more is needed because it's not going to clear that backlog right now. That's correct. Now we uh, already uh, announced and implemented a four billion. Uh, transfer just last year, just a few weeks and a few months ago. That's another ten, two billion uh, dollar uh, spe specified or uh, targeted to reducing backlogs. Reducing backlogs has been the priority of my colleagues, health ministers, as we have been uh, talking uh, and working with uh, on and with over the last few months. So, are you hoping that the provinces kick in some money too here, so that they share in this? Well, they have already started to do that. They would like to do more, and that's why we have been in conversations on how the federal government can do its part and send that additional $2 billion so that my colleagues, health ministers, have more resources to address backlogs across the country. I want to ask you, it's money with no strings attached, because you are hoping, there is an expectation, that it will go to clearing those backlogs. But how can you be sure that premiers won't be using it for something else? Well, my hope, and I'm quite confident about that, based again on my work with uh, my colleagues, health ministers, is that that money, that additional money transferred to provinces and territories, will, you, will be used for that purpose. I, I have full confidence that this is their priority. They've been telling us and telling me that. And obviously, having that money from the federal government will help the conversations between my colleague health ministers and their uh, finance ministers in the respective provinces and territories. Now, part of the conversation includes uh, the federal government increasing the Canada Health Transfer funding by about $28 billion annually. Is that money going to be in the next budget? My, my work with uh, health ministers has been a triple R rule based, a triple R because A, for uh, no, a respecting jurisdictions, respect for jurisdictions is key. Uh, B for no, being mindful of a shared responsibility. We uh, we are all you know, working for and caring for the same people across Canada. And C you now focus on results. Well, all, all the conversations I had with my health minister's colleagues have been on results, and that's why we are now speaking of results. And as we do that, we'll keep investing more. Uh, with my colleagues, health ministers, making sure they have the resources they need to, to look after their own people. So yes or no, it's in the next budget, more money? Well, we'll see in the budget when the, when the, when the budget comes. No, what is in the budget will be announced in the budget, obviously. As, I'm, as, as we're seeing tonight, uh, the, uh, we, we don't wait for the budget for these things to happen. We've been investing $63 billion uh, over COVID-19, in addition to the Canada health transfers, for the important purpose of helping Canadians through our collaboration with provinces and territories.